This is End of the Real. Oh, hi, Mark. I turned into a vampire. It's a long story. G'day everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of End of the Real. With me is my co-host Ethan. Hi. Ethan, this week we we, we, we watched Speed Damn. Let me do that again. We sure did, Jared. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just keep going with that intro. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, we watched Speed 2. Cruise Control. Cruise Control. So we watched Speed 1 the week beforehand. It so was the... only a couple of days beforehand. So we were still pumped from it. Yeah, the week beforehand. Yeah. Okay. But... Yeah, so we watched Speed One. Now, Speed One is a dumb film, but it's like it's, it's a very a great actiony nineties action adventure film. It's it's very cheesy, but self aware. I think that's why um, you kept going out a comedy. I I didn't think it was a comedy. I thought it was just an action adventure film. But I, I guess Speed One just because it's got so many ridiculous bits in it, it is kind no, of no, funny. no. Okay, the way I like to summarize Speed One is that it is in the universe of the last action hero. That's the universe. It's the action movie universe. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where yeah. it doesn't it, make it's, any sense. It's a sense. ridiculous 90s adventure film. Ridiculous. Lots of fun. Everyone knows everyone else's name. But it's great. You know, and, but it's, it's, you know what it's got? It's got pacing. With that movie, that's why this is important to cover Speed 1. Speed 1, straight away we start off with an action scene that goes for a while. It, and it's pretty intense. It's, it's an intense action scene with Keanu Reeves, who... Pretty much off the bat is only like talking in dialogue that's really witty remarks and action. It's like action. It's action, action movie talk. He's great. He's charming. But he but comes yeah, out. I get what you mean. He comes out and they're just like, whoa, like what, what happens when the elevator's thing stops or like breaks? And he's like, then it comes to a sudden stop. Or like, then they're like, how do we stop it? And he's like, gravity's going to stop it. Like, oh, just yeah. it's great. But also it was strangely self-aware. And that's when, if you look it up, and this is where I think there was a big change. Uh, if you look it up, Joss Whedon did a lot of rewrite, apparently, especially the dialogue. And he cut mm -hmm. out a lot of scenes, which made sense for Speed 1 because there's this weird thing where literally everyone knows everyone else's name to a strange like first person basis oh, yeah. on the bus yeah you mentioned that so that was actually there was a big scene cut out so from what you can see from what and this is why i realized when we went into speed two there was a big change so same writers writing the core story right mm. to the point where they literally just recycle shit Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. But then you don't have Joss Whedon coming in and cutting off all the like fat, and yeah. you don't have him adding in the more witty dialogue. So what you actually just get is just dumb, kind of boring ish action that's not paced as well. There, well, there there isn't even Speed Two doesn't even have much action in no. it. There's an hour and a half where they just walk around the cruise ship. That's the problem, and he that's what he cut out of Speed One. He cut out like. The scene, apparently they introduced every character on the bus. Yeah. One by one. That would have sucked. Slowed the film right? down to a crawl. But he, but he removed it. Mm. Right? And that's why I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying the reason Speed 2 sucks is because he's not there to cut it out. So they just fucking had this shit in. And then uh, Keanu Reeves isn't in it. Uh, and his yeah, dialogue makes it less fun. Yeah. And they're on a boat. They're on, on a ship. A slow ass cruise ship. A slow ship. ship. That they, try as they might, they never make it look like it's actually going fast. No, they, they there just are, screw up. There are so many parts where it's like they're hanging off the ship and it just looks like the ship's standing still. That's because it is in those oh, scenes. Yeah. Actually, for a lot of the time, it is just standing but still. You, you do have scenes when it is going fast and you can With tell it's going, going fast. No, no, you have scenes where they're showing the, the oh, ship yeah. moving and it is moving fast and you can see the water splashing by and it's going pretty quick, right? Mm. But then you have other scenes where someone's in the water and the water is like dead still and they're yeah. not moving. And I'm just like, like I what? think at one point, uh, the character Alex... Because uh, Keanu Reeves didn't return for this film, so there's a new guy who's replacing oh, Jack yeah. called Alex, who's basically the same character, yeah. but just a lot less charming. He's hanging, he's on a rope being dragged by the ship, but he's just treading water. He's treading he's water. Be, the, the ship's meant to be going at like 60. so fast, no one can stop it. It's, it's meant to be going very quick. But he's just standing there treading water. That's... I hate it. That scene actually wrecked a lot of the movie. Yeah. It wrecked because it wrecked the premise of... Oh, boy, we'll get to it. But it wrecked the premise of why they don't just step off the ship. Yeah. Water uh, acts really weird in Speed 2. They could uh, Instead of people falling into the water and, like, floating, 
like normal, the water seems to eat people. So once yeah. they land in it, they're immediately sucked under, no sucked matter where under. they are. Yeah. Sucked under. Okay, actually, so we'll finish off with Speed 1. Do you enjoy Speed 1? Speed 1 was great. I yeah. liked it. Nice, yeah. dumb action movie. I will say, if you wanted to compare Speed 1 and 2 and show why Speed 2 was like so bad, Speed 1, right at the start, he saves all the people from the elevator. It's very yeah. tense. People's lives are in danger. Uh, people die. Speed 2... The first five minutes of introducing the character is him chasing a guy in an ice cream truck who's just trying to sell stolen VCRs. It's no boring. stolen computers. It's boring and it's lame. I didn't realize I looked it up. Uh, the speed one was rated R. Okay. Speed two is PG. Fuck. Yeah, it's like it's just <laughs> it's in like, every way it's a downgrade. From it's the a first downgrade. One. It's a dampener. They don't have fun. They don't kill people. They don't do anything. Sandra Bullock, who returns from the first one, yeah, is. She's dumber in this one, right? She, she, she is comes so across dumb. as like this bimbo. It's, it introduces her trying to learn to drive and she's making every wrong decision. No, but it's like, like some sort of bad romantic but comedy. It was still kind of was in vain of like the dumb action hero movie where it's like, she's not just bad at driving. She's so bad at driving, even mm. like changing lanes, she'll like hit a bike rider or but something. But it's not just that. I, she just sort of waffles through the whole film like she doesn't care what's going on. Yeah, she's kind of... It, it's almost satirical bad with how bad she well, is. Do you know what I mean? When I looked That's up, why I feel like Last Action Hero. It feel, it's a satirical mm, level of, like, action dumb. Like, she has to be acting bad to act this badly? No, no, I'm saying, like, only in that action hero movie, like, universe would she have been, like, such a bad driver that the driving instructor's like, whoa, whoa, don't hit that, oh, no, you got the buzz, oh, boy. Yeah. Like, it went on for a few minutes of him being like, oh, no, you gotta pull over for the cops, and the cops are like, you gotta stop. And, of course, guess where they end up? They end up colliding, essentially, with the boyfriend who's doing the the bust or whatever. The, like, you know what I mean? The stupidest chase ever. I mean, this is still... The thing is... A lot of this still feels like the way uh, Speed 1, it, like, it is bizarrely yeah. coincidental, right? But like, also, Speed 1 is, like, for example, the, the thing where with Speed 1 where I was like, wow, this is such an action movie universe, was when he goes to get coffee and he knows the local bus driver's name and when he comes to get coffee and he's like i'll see you tomorrow tim and he's like okay see you later jack and then he leaves and his bus blows up and he's like no my local bus driver. like everyone just knows the name and coincidentally like meets each other on the routes at the same time but again that's a little bit that would have been fine it could have been okay for this film like this opener don't get me wrong it's dumb but oh, if the rest of the film running into each other yeah but like if the rest of the film was good you would have been like it's the same well it also sets up the weird conflict that goes on through the whole movie where she dumps uh counter reeves from the first ca uh, movie's character jack yeah because she couldn't handle his fast-paced dangerous lifestyle so she thinks Alex, her new boyfriend, is just like a beach cop. A but beach it turns cop. out he's in the Suicide Squad, which is... Well, the second movie of the Suicide Squad was pretty they good. they just chased down uh, ice cream trucks and stuff. He, like, he didn't seem to be doing anything dangerous. Or he no, was he doing did. Something, he did. He was doing it dangerously. Oh, like, okay. Like, there was no reason for him to be chasing this guy the way he was. Why did he have to... Okay. Speed 2. Yeah. Here's how we should start it. You can still have Sandra Bullock being the driving instructor person thing, right? Okay? Have that, right? Instead of it being an ice, ice cream truck with computers, have it being like some like a Ferrari or a Lotus, or like a fast car, you know, fast car. So there's a reason for them by, to be almost driving each other off the yeah, cliff. Yeah, but being chased by like a motorcycle and have what happens like maybe he gets cut off and then he sees like a ramp and he jumps buildings and goes through the middle of a building. No, stupid as shit. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but that would have been mad to start speed two off. Why have it be... It, I know... Accidentally the, going past because he's going so fast and having to slow down to they, go back. It was like Donkey Kong. Like, they kept just like, oh, throwing a box out the back and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then he would just go off the side and there'll just be a, a boring jump. And like, it's a one lane... And at the end of it, the police were waiting for the truck they anyway. They were just waiting. I didn't get why he was chasing them. Also, they were going to shoot. Yeah. 
But they did. That's what got me too. They were all ready to shoot this guy, and we're like, "What does this Over guy some do?" Stolen computers. That's what got me. Crazy. I was like, "What are they gonna shoot?" I like, thought it would be like drugs or something. I thought it was you know, a terrorist of some sort. Instead, it's like stolen computers, and I'm like, well, "That's the thing." The first one is so tense. Like people's yeah. lives are on the line. In this one, it's like stolen computers. Oh, yeah, it's a stolen computer. That was weird. But it's got the same level of like the music and the you know the direction will be like, "Oh, this is so tense," but you'll be like. He's uh he's shopping for a suit. He just shouldn't that, be going. Tense? He shouldn't know. be going on like that Ducati. He was driving to chase him that that motorcycle. He he shouldn't have done that. Mm. He should have just been driving fast or something. But you know what I mean? Like we're following speed. I could have had him jumping buildings in a motorcycle chasing some dude in like a Ferrari. Right? Instead, I could have had that. I would have been. Fo- oh, I would have yeah, been. I would have be loved it. Instead, what happens is he meets up with. Uh, Sandra Bullock. Yeah. She's annoyed because it turns out he's got a dangerous job and then they go on a cruise. Yeah, I also really disliked his character from that point. They were both terrible. I know, but like he felt like such a manipulative asshole. Yeah. Right? Because like he literally he so this is the thing. He knew that she would have a problem with it. He knew she had a problem with all that stuff beforehand. And he just hid it. And then thought that he could just take her on a cruise. Also, at the same time, propose and it'll just be all fine. Like, what the fuck? Through the whole movie, he just seems so bland and bored. Like, he he never seems to be into it. And when I was looking it up, apparently he wanted there to be a lot of rewrites. And there weren't. So he, he found the whole thing very depressing and miserable. So, yeah, everyone seems to be just sort of get this over with. Then they're not acting. They're just bland. Yeah, I totally get why he felt like shit. Like yeah. he, he also does kind of like I know Sandra Bullock is actually the main car, uh, first cast uh, in the action movie. Whatever. That's that's all cool. She does an okay job. She's not that bad. No, she does fine in with what she has. They all yeah, actually. I will. I will have to put out some defense to the actors. They all do well. Mm. The movie is just crap. Like they couldn't have done any better. I think the, the acting. I think he help. he might have been able to do better actually, but I think as as you said with what you read, he said he just hated every day. Yeah. So you could you could feel the bit of the hate. Uh. Okay. And that kind of ends it for the action for the next hour and a half. Yeah, we checked this. No, it was like forty five minutes until the bad guy starts doing stuff. And that's doing stuff. That is an action. Yeah. Because after he starts doing stuff, he stops the boat. And they have, like, 15 minutes where they can get off. Well, let, let's say, so they get onto the boat. Yeah. Okay, so, well, it's a it's a cruise ship. So, we have a feeling that this was sponsored by the cruise ship. It feels like an ad. It reminded me a lot of... Um, yeah, that what's movie the, with the Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler. twin one where they just go to a cruise ship for some reason. Because oh, it's just... Oh, Dunkaroos? Yeah, yeah. Dunkaroo. Dunkachino. Dunkachino. Because it's just them, like, going to shuffleboard. Dude, they just... They, they get go and on... get drinks. I think there's multiple times where they go dining. Uh, they, yes. There's a plot point where later in the film she knows where the bad guy is because she can recognize the music from the shopping area. Like yeah. she spends that much time in there. She knows the song. We have too many references to stuff on the boats that clearly it must have been funny because, they, yeah, they just... get on. They're like, we can play shuffleboard. By the way, shuffleboard sucks. No, I, I shuffleboard think, sucks. I think if you were in the middle of the Caribbean and you had nothing else to do, maybe no, it'd be all right. The re- yeah, that's that's the reason why you only ever get shuffleboards on like cruise ships. Yeah. It's for old people and it sucks. You never hear about the local shuffleboard crew. You know why? Because if you made a local shuffleboard, right, no one would play it because it sucks. I've played shuffleboard. Here's the problem, right? You took that way too personally. Here, when here's the to problem with that. shuffleboard. I was totally. You know they removed it. Really? Yes. I was 100% mm. on the money. I said exactly the problem. I said, they thought, let's put, put something quirky here that's cheap to run. But they forgot that the problem with shuffleboard is, right, the difficulty to actually play shuffleboard is slightly too high than just being able to throw a dart, right? So what yeah. happens is no one scores, everyone gets bored and just walks off. It's not a good game to get drunk and play you with. ranted about shuffleboard. I hate shuffleboard. So many damn times. And I'm like. right. Shuffleboard sucks. I played it once, like, at the start of the and year. And it's boring. Okay. It's a shitty game. Much like this movie, uh, it shuffleboard. Is, uh, shuffleboard is quite boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, they, they well, on the boat... We're we, introduced to the bad guy. Okay. With... This movie, 
it just needs someone to write. I mean, I th- I really feel like it's because Speed One was dumb, but the dialogue was funny and cheesy, right? Yeah, it was weird. This one was like so dumb, but the dialogue wasn't fun or cheesy, so it just yeah. was dumb. Okay, because like the bad guy gets introduced, and it's so painfully obvious that he he's like, "Where are my golf clubs? My." Golf and like Very straight away, I was I like, get "My golf clubs." I was like, "Why does he need golf clubs on a cruise?" Yeah, it turns number out one. they're all computer bits and bomb making equipment. Okay, okay, but and then also we have a scene where he's like at the desk and he's not looking at the golf screen, and our main character's like, "That's funny," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" He owns golf clubs and yet he's not watching the golf. Game. I like as soon as he said, "Where's my golf clubs?" The very first scene, I was like, "Great, they're gonna just." That's going to be the callback for him going like, dong, dong, dong. You know what was really weird about that? But that he didn't need to hide anything in golf clubs. He so could have just brought them aboard. Later on, the, on in the movie, it felt like uh, what was going on was very personal between the police officer and the bad guy. But at no point did they actually talk to each other before he starts blowing up the ship. Yeah, they, they so never they, talked to each I other. I kept waiting for him to go up in the ship and uh, and talk to each other because the wife, uh, the girlfriend, Sandra Bullock, is talking to him. Yeah. Although it never shows it. She just says that she talked to him a lot about golf. But they never meet. They never talk. There's no dialogue between them at all. Well, also, It felt like that should have been like a personal thing. He is such... First off, he's a copy of the first bad guy. Like, um, th- that's what got me to it. was like, with this movie, I was like... Wow, what what's with the imagination of these writers? They literally did the same stuff. Mm. Like, okay, so the bad guy in the first film is he's like, uh, I think he was forced into retirement. He was a retired. Yeah, cop. yeah, because he'd been blown up by a bad bomb. And and he had, he was like a bomb expert and everything. That's why he made the bombs and he was getting money and everything. And it becomes personal between him and Jack and also Sandra yeah. Bullock. Uh, and th- it kind of all makes sense. In this one, it's literally the same thing. He's like, yeah, I was forced into retirement when I got sick. And then the, the boat the boat people didn't give me any money for my retirement. They just kicked me out. So now I'm here. And I'm like, but it the makes same even thing. less sense. But it's the same thing, but makes less sense. A lot of things about his plan make no sense to me. Why go to all the effort of putting everything into your golf club? Like uh, the way... It- no. Okay, he wanted to smuggle he them could, on. I can ignore that. You don't that. need to, though. It's a fucking cruise. Mm. I don't think it has such, like... I don't know. I've not been on a cruise. But I don't most think... Most of the crew members seem to just be drunk and bored. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have just... Because most of that stuff was just, like, electronic stuff. I'm pretty sure he could have just put it in a suitcase and brought it yeah. on. It would have been fine. But, but they need but they need the golf clubs because then they can go ding, ding, ding later and think about who could be doing it. So the bad guy's plan is to... What he actually wants is the diamonds on the ship. The ship's got a, a collection of diamonds. Yeah. He's dying, but he might get four years if he can afford more leeches. Something like that. Uh, I thought, also, see, leeches aren't that expensive. So his idea is to oh, yeah, leeches, hijack by the, the ship way. with uh, electronics. Should we talk about leeches? He's really evil because of leeches. Well, let's just let's just say what his plan is because it doesn't make sense, but everything okay, so he, on it. Okay, so he did the computer systems for these boats, yeah. ships. So he takes over the ship. His plan is to have everyone evacuate. Okay. Uh, Which would have made take sense. Take the diamonds, and then he's going to drive the ship into the cliffs. I don't, I don't know why he wants to drive the ship in the cliffs. Maybe just because. You know, the thing is, you're right. He could have just taken off in one of those uh, speed things. Yeah. And never needed that's to blow thing, it up. That's the thing. It's like, why does he need to blow up the boat? Because that's what screws him over in the end. Because uh, towards the end, he's, he's got it t- heading criminal. towards the cliffs. He's already got the diamonds. He can leave at any point. But they manage to steer the ship away from the cliffs. So he stays to a- start aiming it at a tanker. No, and then when they I stop think... it from aiming at the tanker, he manages to get it to... He-, he stays on the ship. That's the thing. Look. For way too long. He's so stupid that... God. Because it... He's just so stupid. It's just the logic with this guy is so dumb because it would have made sense. You know, when he was like, you only have 15 minutes to get them off or whatever, right? Yeah. It's in his best interest to get everyone to just get everyone. Because that's the weirdest, that's the dumbest bit, right? If he had just gone, oh, yeah, you got like half an hour, make sure everyone's off, they were all complying. Yeah. uh, 
Well, so I know, but that's what's annoying. He because fakes it... fires on the ship, so uh, everyone evacuates. But some people well, are he, trapped he, oh, on the ship. He also specific. Oh my he locks God. down the elevators okay, and wait, then tells everyone he, to get off. Did, oh my so God, people wait, wait. are automatically trapped in the elevator. That drove me nuts because I was like, does he know that the girl's stuck in the elevator? No, he doesn't. But he does it on purpose to freak them out, which then they get freaked out of. And you think it's because she's stuck and like it's a hostage thing? No. That's yeah, like, I, I thought I thought he was it. trying to take hostages because he purposely traps groups of people on the ship so they can't get out. But actually, it turns out he didn't mean to. I don't know what he was meaning to do. Yeah. I, I think it. He's incompetent. He's a bad, bad guy because any it is in his best interest. To just get them all off, he could have just driven the thing, gone out, flown away. Yeah. Like, literally. And the thing is, too, if he had just done all that, they wouldn't even know probably who did it. Unless if... Ah, uh, no, he... Because they have that weird black dynamite moment. Yeah, Where yeah. Alex, the police officer, no, no, figures no, no, out I'm saying the If they had just all gone instantly. off. If they had all just gone off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they would have been like, we're missing this crew member, or we're missing this person. That's about it. I mean, like, they would have figured it, but he would have just flown away. Yeah. I'm saying, far less interesting film. But why not just make it a movie where he takes hostages? Much more interesting. Yeah. Right? There, there is almost no tension in this film. That would have been far more interesting. But he doesn't, because whatever. Also, he somehow... Uh, it, it's almost like... A, uh, what's it called? Like a theme park with the way he's got everything set up. Mm. Like... Somehow he has every room set up. I did see up. some people were it's referring sore. it to more like a Die Hard. Yeah, Where it being, is. Yeah. yeah. But I, I reckon the way he's got all the bombs and things set up, he's set up like Saw, right? Mm. Essentially, he's set up where he's expecting... What's our main dude's name? Alex. Okay. He's expecting Alex to be chasing him throughout the film because he set all this stuff up ahead of time, right? But it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because in his plan, Alex shouldn't be there. So the fact that he's got so these much of what bizarre, happens doesn't make sense. Yeah, but the fact that he's got this bizarre Looney Tune esque level like trap set up yeah. for Alex, and that only got specifically in time for Alex, it's just like that doesn't. It just it's a it's a suspension of belief that I couldn't get to. And again, Speed One is we, so stupid. Can we talk about? There's a couple of things. In, like small scenes I want to talk about. Firstly, yeah, I the know captain which one. dying. Oh, okay. And I know what the second one is. So after the bad guy uh, sets up all the bombs and is about to take over, he decides to kill the captain. Mm -hmm. The captain has no idea who he is, but for some reason it's really personal for the guy. But the bad guy lures him over to the side of the ship and kills him with what looks like... It's like a gate. Uh, it's a, like a lamp that's attached to the railing. The thing is, it can't. He doesn't take it off or hit it and hit him with it or anything. It literally is attached to the wall and swings. Yeah. So it only works as a weapon if you walk up and like press yourself up against it so he can hit you with it. So the captain actually walks up and is like, for most of the confrontation, the captain is standing outside of the range of this thing, going like, "Is there something wrong? Are you are you okay?" Finally, the captain, like, walks up to him, and st at the, at the bad guy starts beating him with it, but it, at any moment, he could have just stepped back. He just needed to he step back. He just needed to step back, and he would have been fine. It's so dumb. It's so it's dumb. So and he kills it, and you're like, I don't get it. Kills Why? him with it. Reason? The, the, again, the, the bad guy in the first one made sense. With some of them, yeah. he wanted to kill them. With, in this one, he just doesn't, but he does. But he doesn't, but he does. He Fuck wants it. revenge on people. Which, who he doesn't get... Man, how much better would have this been... Like, honestly, why didn't they say it was, like, a flagship thing and for some reason, like, some of the people who own the company were on the ship? But and not, those ones, those ones sold, get stayed on. Yeah, get, yeah. Like, and the rest get off. That would have made sense. Fuck but it. no, actually, they've sold his electronic stuff to all the ship. So yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, like, you just needed some investors on board. To, uh, the, uh, one of the reasons that he got fired. Something. So the, Make uh, it personal. The next weird scene. Well, uh, the boat's being evacuated, and the boat that the hero and Sandra Book were on snap and... Uh, well, well, this is after 40 minutes, by the way. They're oh, yeah. just kind of walking yeah. around. They have some, like, dinner stuff. There's this weird... 
weird oh, we'll B story. We'll talk about story. the Lolita story later. Okay. But, we'll just talk about one because shot. Because it's just so stupid. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because it's... It, for me, it was like when I gave up on the film, basically. You know, also, she was like 15 minutes of the film. Every scene she's in, by the way, and all the st- her entire story arc should just be wiped. Yeah. It would oh, make no, the film... Awful. It would make the film something like 20 minutes quicker. And less creepy. Less creepy. And far more interesting because she gets trapped in an. Ah, uh, sorry. But, but we'll this, we'll, yeah, we'll but go on with yours. Like what? Everything that was wrong with it was in this scene. So the lifeboat snaps. The people are in danger of falling in the water and instantly being eaten All by right. the water. What? What else? By the They're way, they're trying to make it so tense. Is this an original scene? No, no, it's, it's just copied the, from the first one. It's the elevator scene from the first one. But uh, he even does the rope thing. But but that that's the thing. It's like. The elevator is tense. <sighs> At any moment, the elevator could fall. They're all acting tense. In this one, it feels like it should be tense, but at the same time, Sandra Bullock slowly lowers a gangplank and just goes, um, I guess you guys could get on this, you know, when, whenever. And at the same time, the, the music is thumping and stuff, and you've just got them going, okay, one at a time, I guess. You know, two it's people. Like there's no speed. Two people, they like fall off. Also, whenever someone gets, I can't remember what's called. They get like sucked under the boat. Well, it's not every just the single boat, person. Though. See, at first I was like, okay, they've got it in this movie that if you fall near the boat, you get like sucked into the propellers or the wake or whatever. But no, throughout the movie, yeah, any body of water if you fall into it, you immediately get sucked under and eaten. Yeah, it's really weird. You get sucked under. Also, that's the only way I can describe it here's because the... it even sounds like it's like. <sighs> If you want, I was so stupid. If you want us to be afraid of the water, okay, don't go back in the water. How do you make us afraid of the water? Everyone knows the ocean. Sharks. Sharks. Have sharks around? You're in the Caribbean. Just tell I us that. Tell us you all you needed. Two second scene of someone being like, like literally, maybe even over the loudspeaker. Oh no, you can't swim here though. It's, it's infested. Shark season or something. Yep, it's infested with man eating sharks, Instead, so that no just, one goes in the you water. You know what? What? Maybe they had planned to do that, but it, they were afraid of losing their PG rating. Uh, yeah. I don't know, because it's so dumb. Because they were freaked out by the water. And also, like, okay, and at this point, too, we're like, oh, they're so high up, like, falling in the water is but not dangerous. Really. But then we find, well, they're like, later it's on. A, it's not a huge ship. Okay, but it's here's... not one of the big ones. Here's the craziest... Bit, which just ruins this a hundred percent ruins it we have a scene later on where he's trying to slow down the propeller right and he gets like into the water and goes through that, that and, was going to be the next scene i talked a, about anyway thing is just awful. the the craziest bit with that bit is that there's a uh, deck bit which is pretty much level to the water. Like, you know, you just step off and you're in the There's water. There's a door so you can just go off at water level. Like, yeah. You can just walk off the ship. So where we were thinking beforehand, like, oh, yeah. There are also multiple ladders on the I side know. of the ship. But where we were thinking beforehand, like, oh, they can't get off the ship because they have to jump, like, five stories. Mm. Right? Reasonable, right? Uh, five stories and this thing's going, like, 60 miles per hour. Jeez. That's dangerous, right? But then you have this scene where they just step off and they're just treading water. Yeah. But that's also the same scene where he gets... They they throw... That's so dumb. They throw the rope away and he gets sucked underwater all of a sudden. And you're like, he was treading yeah. water. The people, even though they're wearing life jackets, can't go into the water because they'll get killed by it Which, for some reason. But it's, that's the dumbest scene when you see them just treading water and that you can just step off into the water because it... It ruins the whole At this whole point, thought. the ship is also meant to be going super fast, uncontrollably towards the tanker. Oh, but the thing is, too, by the way, they're not even, like, in the middle of the ocean, like... They're in the bay. So, you know how we've been saying, like, why don't they just step off the boat? It's like, why don't they just step off the boat? They could swim. Yeah. They could swim to... Plus, there's, like, tons of boats around. So, the only thing that... That's why I kept saying they just needed to say the area was shark-infested or something. Mm. And we would have been, are, like, but fine. But that wouldn't make sense because when they go in the bay, there are already people Look, swimming around. just straight up, too. An action film that's in the ocean that doesn't involve sharks in some way, doesn't even mention the word shark. Okay. What a shame. How long uh, were they barreling towards the Super Tanker 4? I don't know. It felt like it went... Okay, so for about half an hour, the bad guys got the ship 
aimed at this super tanker and going at it full pelt. Yeah. The problem I had with this is it always seemed like the cruise ship was the same distance away from the super tanker. Yeah. They'd keep going, we're about to hit it, we're about to hit it, we're going way too fast. And then it'd cut back to the cruise ship just at the same distance going slightly faster. It felt like the bit out of Monty Python, you know, um, in the Holy Grail where Sir Robin is... Mm-hmm. Attacking the castle. Yeah. And it just keeps showing him at the same distance, just looped backward and forth. It felt like that over half an hour. Oh, God. Though, we also do have the um, deaf girl who, at one point, her parents can't find her and they're just like, don't worry about her. We can make a better one. That was and our that, joke. That was we our joke. That. Well, the little, it, okay. that would have been funny. So the little girl is introduced in one of the first dining scenes. One of the it, first. It turns out. Sorry. One of the first dining My scenes. first ones, yeah. Okay. And it turns out Alex can do sign language, so he talks to her because she's mute or deaf, which. Uh, and they have a little bit of a conversation, and I think I joked, I said kind of jokingly, oh, it's going to be some weird, creepy relationship. So later in the film, he rescues her, and she actively hits on her. This is, this is uh, actually, there's another dining scene where the dad isn't happy that she's wearing more revealing clothes. And yeah, yeah uh, so it builds up that actually she is interested in him and starts talking about how she's going to be 15 soon. And the whole thing is just weird. Yeah. It's a weird, it's, it's a weird dynamic. But... Like the police officer laughs it off, but at the same time, it's just creepy. Yeah. In the middle of your high-speed action film, you shouldn't have this weird relationship between the 14-year-old girl and the hero. Yeah, pretty much. The, they they just have her coming out. It's quite odd. They don't need it. She She's the one who gets trapped in the elevator, and we were thinking, oh, he's going to have to go save her from the elevator. He doesn't. She just makes her own way out. She's able to figure out her own way out of the elevator, makes her way into the bottom decks. That's all fine. And you're like, okay. Yeah. And then, of course, they flood the bottom decks because of stupid reasons. Whole, Pretty I, much, the whole can I just say, like, thing was stupid because it the ba- the main the hero Alex decides to slow the ship down. They're going to flood it. The only guy there who's with the ship it goes. That's really dumb. At best, we could just drown. Yeah. It anyway that, and it turns out he's right. It it didn't help. In fact, it made things worse, and they almost all drowned. The rest of the stuff on the actual ship. Most of the stuff, damn it. Most of the stuff on the actual ship's actually pretty boring. Incredibly boring. So it only gets interesting once they literally pass the uh, the oil tanker. Once they're off the cruise ship, yeah. It once gets they're better. off the, in the last like. So before they pass the tanker, the bad guy actually escapes, and he escapes well with the money. He could have gotten away easily, but for some reason he takes Sandra Bullock hostage. Yeah. Okay. So. What happens is, for no reason at all, they have a personal thing, like in the first film, but it doesn't actually make any sense. So, he pretty much takes Sandra Bullock hostage for no reason, because it doesn't... He's escaped at this point. Yeah, so it doesn't actually in any way help his situation to take her. In fact, it's a huge detriment. Yeah, so in the first film... He's got a, uh, like, one of those plane boats ready to take off, so he gets on a jet ski... Leaves the ship with Sandra Bullock. Well, she to him. he she's also one of the reasons that the the boat doesn't go straight straight away. He like she like fights him oh, and yeah, gets yeah, away yeah, and everything. Yeah. So she distracts him and does all this dumb shit, and he's completely pointless to take her because he's gonna need a ditcher anyway. Yeah, for some reason he's obsessed with taking a hostage, there's, even though yeah. it actively works against him. There's no reason at all except for the fact that they wanted to copy what they did in the first film. Yeah. So he leaves, and this is the half hour where the film actually is good, or at least it's not good. Well, uh, it's also I stupid, forgot, but it's kind of entertaining. He does have a power glove in this film too, which he like oh, his types into. Controller. Yeah, he does have that, and also there is this kind that of kind of interesting where he's like he's running through and he's like locking the doors and stuff and making things happen. That was kind of interesting, but it happens for like a minute. Yeah, there's also this kind of interesting scene where Sandra Bullock has to save some people. And it's not that bad because she gets a chainsaw and she, like, opens up. It's probably the only actual funny bit in the film. Oh, no, there were some bits in the end, too. I I know the bit. Okay, so they're trapped in a room that's filling with smoke. She cuts a hole through the door. And as they're trying to get out, she's still standing there with the chainsaw. 
See, that, you found that funny. I found that like, she's so stupid. She isn't moving out of the way. Yeah, she is stupid. Uh, her character is stupid. I just hated just straight her character up. more. You found it funny. I, I I get why you found it funny. Yeah, but they should have given us a Sharks. They should have given us uh, LL Cool J or whatever from Deep Blue Sea. He would have... Deep Blue Sea. Give us LL Cool J. Deep, okay, Deep Blue Sea is a dumb action movie, but it's kind of fun. Oh, yeah, no, this it's movie, way better than this. This movie, unfortunately, is a bit more of a disaster movie for about... Like an hour and, the and a half. last half hour when it's actually fun, I was already exhausted. That's the problem. I was so bored. So by the time, let's say, by the time they get past the oil, oil tanker, and this is when William Defoe is not even on the boat yeah, anymore. Yeah, the bad guys escaped. So the boat is now heading straight for the port. And yet, yeah, it doesn't stop. It hits the port, goes onto land, and keeps going. Yeah. Onto the land. This was entertaining, though. Oh, that was the good part in the so film. It's so ridiculous. It's unfortunate, it's though, that they only get to what made Speed good. Because that's the thing. A lot of people were like, oh, it's a dumb film. I'm like, Speed is a dumb film. Uh, I think Speed is dumb. I no. Think, there's no yeah. way you can defend Speed. It's still written Speed by the same a guys. Speed was action film, but Speed 2 is not. Like, no, was, that's the like, difference. The was ridiculous. That's the difference, yeah. though. It's It's still... As dumb, but the problem is I that they didn't know what Speed to cut. Two was dumber. They didn't. They didn't know what to cut from Speed Two. Yeah. They didn't know what to cut, and they didn't know what made Speed One so good. Which was, it's ironic because it's in the fucking title. The speed. It, it's the speed. It's the pacing, mm. which is like what made Speed One really fun. Was like it was really dumb, really high, high action all the time. In Speed Two, pretty much they chase some dude around the ship. And the problem is that a lot of the actions and a lot of the things they do don't really seem to have many consequences. Mm. Everything actually in Speed 1 has a dire consequence. Does, do we actually see anyone die? Like, people fall into the water and disappear. There's but two people die? who get sucked into the water. Apart from the sucking into the water. I feel like there's two people who get sucked into the water. Uh, the captain. Yeah, but he's sucked into the water. Oh. Uh, Does anyone die from... That you actually see get like shot. Oh, you or know what? Uh, drown or something. No, they're cut away from these ones, but some people definitely died when the some ship. Some people hit the... look like they're hit, getting hit by the ship, but it always cuts away from everything. So you never actually yeah. see any. Oh no, they or anything. definitely got hit by the ship. Mm. There were some on the pier who were like under the thing. But Willem but Dafoe it... is the only one you actually see die. How does he die again? He oh gets yeah. Up. Okay. That was so. Wait, that was so well, dumb. When we say the ship hits the land, it doesn't just hit the land and stop. It hits the land and it keeps going and it keeps going and it plows through this town, and it keeps showing shots of like it does different go houses for too get long. knocked down. Well, that's the thing. It's the same as when it was heading towards the tanker and it kept going back. Yeah, and even though it looked like it had been going for ages, it hadn't actually moved. I think where it tries to, and I think it made a little bit more sense when it showed this, but it seems like that a lot of that island, especially the area where it hits from, a lot of that is a pier. That's why it's able to go so far. But it shows, ah, uh, yeah. That's why it's able to go so because you I, see it and it's like, oh, it's able to go further in because it's it's still a pier. I just think it was funny though. Oh yeah, no, it's the one of the best scenes in the then film. Then you let it go. Let I'm it just go. no, I'm just saying there's there's a problem with the scale of like they when they zoom out and they show how far the ship has gone. It's actually only like halfway out of the water, but all the scenes of it coming onto the water, crashing through all the buildings, goes on for like four minutes where yeah. it's still going onto land and accelerating. I was funny. expecting it to zoom back out and for it to be halfway up the mountain. That that's, what I, been, that's the problem I have with it. That would have been funny too. That, no, that would have been... I think that would have been better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really have the biggest issue with it. I was like, okay, I guess I've tried to show that it's a pier. That's yeah. why it's able to go so far but, in. But um, this is also where Though it, it was funny. starts to be you like know, It was funny when the buildings were falling to the side because yeah. that was so fake. But, oh, yeah. You could see the popsicle sticks like bending as the houses fall over. He goes and steals that guy from Speed Ones. Uh, who they stole the car, but this time they steal his boat. Yep. And they go off. This is when it's like, oh, look at that! They're going it's fast. It's actually like speed. He, they have a high speed chase in the water, and it's entertaining. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Yeah, it's but really it's stupid. It's but that's the thing. Fun. It's like speed wasn't smart. That's a, that's what gets me. It's like. 
because people will criticize this movie and it because it's not a good movie, but people criticize it being like, oh, it's dumb. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're saying you're saying you like Speed One, but you think you don't like Speed Two because it's dumb. I think dumb. you're being a bit harsh on Speed One, honestly. No, 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 Speed One is very dumb. I I think you're being a bit harsh on it. Speed One is really dumb. Okay. It's really fun. It's really dumb. I, I don't know why you take this. It's slant cheesy it. action yeah, hero yeah, dumb it's to an the extreme. Sure. To the extreme. No, I'm just saying like you don't hate Speed Two because it's like it is. I will say it is dumber. It is a dumber film. Okay. Okay. I'll agree. With, yeah. I'll take but it. like it's mainly just the fact that they didn't know what to cut out. It goes for too long. I mean, Speed One's pretty long, but it still keeps it the it's the uh, pace and the speed. Yeah. But we needed speed. We needed we needed all the riders to get in a room and take some speed or something. And, and even like, at this point, speed it up. Things aren't making sense. Like he, for some reason, even though they're in the high speed chase, the bad guy is still dragging Sandra Bullock along with him. The only reason okay. Alex, the good guy, is chasing him is because he's got Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock literally starts beating up. The bad guy. And he's and still then, dragging her along with him. And that's the reason why then that the good guy or Jack or whatever manages to get on is because the hostage has been such a shit hostage. It just doesn't make any sense. He loses his diamonds and he doesn't have his leeches. Yeah. Uh, basically, that's it. He loses control of the plane and accidentally flies into the tanker, which explodes. That was okay. That was that was pretty good. That was, was so stupid. Will but Defoe it was funny. Looked you like know? the only person who was having fun on that film. Yeah, like, but he was actually like. I was gonna, yeah, stuff. I wanted to come in to defend him. Oh no, he was. I, I like him. So I, like him I know, but he literally had nothing to play with. Yeah. Nothing. He had no good dialogue scenes. Like he had no good tense scenes. He had the nothing. The only time he talked to anyone except the captain were to his leeches. Yeah, he had nothing. Mm. Nothing in that film. We should have had him be like he was in the lighthouse, and he just gets really drunk, and that's him for the film. Yeah, and he's just like the mermaid pussy. Anyway. Yeah. So, so that was speed two. You know when like the oil? So the oil tanker, by the way, blows. That's so funny. The the way they must store oil on that fucking oil tanker, they just have it open. Because <laughs> that's the yeah, way they, it, they must have, like, well, it must I, be in it. No, but remember the cruiser, like, slammed up to it, I guess. To the like, side. No, no, I'm just saying. The oil must have ruptured or okay, something. It's that's the only way a single spark from the plane could have The way it off. works, somehow he gets stuck on, like, the top bit of a pole on the top of the plane, mm. on top of the ship, right? And then what happens is, like, his plane blows up. And it's pretty high up on the ship, but somehow then just the entire, like, ship from the top, from that side, all the way down, just fucking explodes. Massive explosion. And the only way I thought, I was like, the way they were, like, transporting that fuel must have been, like, just an open top. They just had oil. They just had all the oil just openly exposed to everything and they were like oh no well they ne- they realized they needed one explosion in the film they had a few explosions i need the they had- golf balls going off oh that's that that's right so alex earlier in the film immediately knows who the bad guy is because he comes into the control room goes there must have been little explosions going off little explosions planted around the ship that looked like little balls little balls that look like golf balls Willem Dafoe's character, like golf, Willem Dafoe's character is the bad guy. He comes to that conclusion faster than I just put it down. It was like straight out of Black Dynamite, the scene where they're like, oh, it must have been the the beer making everybody impotent. It it was like that. It was ridiculous. I just think they should have really, they should have cut all that out. Uh Uh-huh. Follow me. And just made Lolita at sea. That's it. Oh, yeah. We just have a really weird thing about... He's having trouble with his relationship, uh-huh. and here's this deaf girl who can't talk to anybody and she's, who he she's, starts a relationship she's with. She's becoming into an adult. I mean, she's less of a child. She's No, you know what I mean? It's the leader, leader thing. She's becoming an adult. I haven't and she, read the leader. she sees herself as an adult, and she wants to see... And she wants to get with this older male figure because he is an adult and everything and he does she doesn't see that in the younger boys of her age and we just have the entire movie just slow down 
And that's all it is about him saying, no, I'm not going to do that. You, you're, you're a good person. And then we just have William Defoe running around playing golf with leeches hanging off his dick. And like, that's it. Okay. That's it. Dude, why throw in the Lolita thing? Ah, uh, you could have said that about so much. It slowed too. the whole film down. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's what we do, right? Here's what we do. As we said with the start, all right? Get rid of the ice cream truck. Make it a sports Ferrari, right? Bam, boom. Lots of explosions. Have like another guy with a gun shooting an RPG. Bam, boom. Explosion. Jared, you've just Exciting. Lost your PG rating. I don't give a there fuck you go. about PG, right? Then. Yeah, you want a boat? Cool, have a boat. Have sharks. Have sharks. Have a sex... I mean, the boat has a... The ship has it... Is is flooded at a point, yeah? Yeah. Have sharks come in the flooded bit. That way it's tense. Okay. Because, okay, you know when it's flooded? No ten. No tension. Yeah. There's this entire yeah. scene where they're like, they're flooded it. You got to go down and do it. So they go down and they do it. Yep, except... Have a shark. The room that they're in that they're like, oh, this is so difficult. They literally lift their heads to breathe. Yeah. And they go... Okay, another fifteen seconds. Put their head under, turn a little, uh, a little uh, like wheel, and then stick their heads up to breathe again. It and just they works. It, they that's the thing. It's like there's no tension, but they make it out to be like it just works. Irritating. So here's here's what I say: throw in two sharks, right? The shark can even eat one of them. That'd be cool as fuck, right? I want a Dante. Also, dog. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dante should have so been eaten. There's so many annoying little characters. Ha- in this have film. Dante be like, oh no, no, have that like the porter. The ship porter guy. Have him oh, be eaten be by like by like a shark. But also, you know how we're gonna what we do? We blow the sharks up with the explosions. With the explosives. That's cool as fuck. Because maybe they'll like happy like, oh man, there's like five kilograms of like explosive C4 here, right? You know what they do to that thing? Strap it to a shark okay. that then goes away. And goes to eat the bad guy and fucking explodes. Right. That's metal as fuck. Right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's cool. Right. And the sharks are following the bad guy yep. because his leeches have fallen off in the salt water and he's bleeding in the water. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's why he's bleeding. Okay. <sighs> um. And uh. Maybe add like two or three terrorists so we can get them killed. Yeah, I was really expecting Willem Dafoe to have like a team this time. We need a team. Like in the first movie, it's just the one crazy guy, and this one it should have been a team you taking know, over the boat. Because Die Hard at ocean at sea. That sounds cool. That could have been cool. That sounds yeah. cool. So we need some more people to die just straight up. Uh, the deaf girl just remove. All of that, her and her family. Just remove all, all, all of all of that. In fact, most of the side characters. You got Dante, who's, uh, I think he works on the ship, but he's constantly taking photos and selfies the whole way through. Like as the explosions are going off, people are like, "We're gonna die! We're gonna die!" Click. And, um, and it's just irritating. Either put on some rich investors who own the boat or something, or just make give it... them a reason to actually want to kill everybody. Yeah, yeah. Or like take some people hostage, or or make them like political people something Except like there's that nothing there's yeah. no there doesn't feel like there's any stakes maybe a daughter of like a, a um maybe they this way we could get a lot of like young hot people on uh make it a bit more of a party ship instead of fucking shuffleboard okay and uh what happens is it's the daughter of some president of some country and that's why the terrorists are there because they're gonna try and I get her just pitched like one gigantic mess it's a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a gi- dude there's all over the place there's fucking sharks okay okay anyway, so would you recommend speed to cruise control That's you enjoyed it more than i did a lot more yeah but it's okay i think it's like an, an hour 59 it's over two hours okay i think it's like an hour 59 and i can confidently say that only 25 minutes of this film is worth watching. Yeah. So I'm going to say no. Don't watch it. It's kind of boring. If you really want to watch the stupid bit with the ship going up onto the land... That's that's the end. Yeah, fast forward an hour and a half in. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, don't bother. I don't think you're missing anything. The if first you hour and a half is just so exhausting. The, the actors have no chemistry. Yeah. The story is stupid. You can tell that they hated it's it. It's so slow and boring. What would you give it out of? Uh, like, yeah, out of I, eight, I just... I'd give it a three or a four. A four. Out of what? Out of a ten. Oh, man, I thought you were going to say out of five. I think I said out of eight for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> out, out, of ten, of eight. I, out of ten, I'd give it like a four. Yeah. Out of ten... Yeah, it's... it. I don't think... It... That's only for the stupid stuff at the end. This is a movie where I really question if I would put it on, like... The list of like so bad it's good. I is it so bad it's just kind of bad. 
Yeah, I'm going to say, because it's just the time's worth, the time of not entertaining bad and good bad is, like, not really on yeah. par. So I'm going to say that it's not in the watch it, it's so good, it's bad. If you if you watch it and you, you think otherwise, that's cool, you know, that's fine. But you but are in a minority. <laughs> I honestly, I thing. honestly don't think not it's, positive. yeah, I don't think it's worth watching. Yeah. Yeah, so. All right. That's it. That's, that's, uh... Speed to um, cruise control. Cruise control, awesome. Fi- Wait, was it cruise control? I don't know what. It, no, was oh, it the first know. one? Anyway, I don't know. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's awesome. It's awesome. That was a weird way to end it, wasn't it? We're just here because it's doing the last bit where it talks and stuff. Right, I'm just gonna Bye. Go.